Pass criteria six requires you to look at employment legislation. You need to identify the key elements of employment legislation and the impact it has upon HRM decision making. And the key elements of employment legislation cover a wide range of areas, including pay and conditions, for example, working time regulations, pensions, health and safety, discrimination in the workplace, contracts of employment, think as well about data protection, uh, recruitment and selection of candidates, the national minimum wage, parental rights including maternity and paternity leave, redundancy and dismissal including consultation procedures and entitlement to statutory redundancy payments, and think as well about employing migrant workers. You also need to, to know and to understand the main sources of law relating to employment, which cover common law, UK statutes and, currently, European law. Common law includes issues like an employer's duty of care towards employees, for example not exposing them to unnecessary risk. Also the law of contract, which is applicable to agreements made between an employer and their employees. One of the most important UK statutes is the Equality Act and the nine protected characteristics which it defines, which are age, disability, gender reassignment, marriage and civil partnership, pregnancy and maternity, race, religion, sex and sexual orientation. Currently the UK has to abide by EU law as well, uh, for example the EU Working Time Directive, which makes it illegal to force an employee to work for an average of more than 48 hours a week. It is worth keeping in mind here as well that although the actions of employers and employees are governed by law, there are several mechanisms in place like employment tribunals, arbitration and mediation which try to resolve workplace disputes without resorting to legal action. And in fact a legal remedy is often only used as a last resort when all other options have failed, mainly because trying to resolve issues in court is usually a long and an expensive process. Then, when you are really clear about what the key elements of employment legislation are, uh, think about how these impact on the decisions an HR department will make. For example, an employer can't select an applicant, one applicant over another, solely on the grounds of their religious beliefs. A manager can't dismiss a member of staff without following statutory disciplinary procedures.